I just don't even know how to feel. Am I supposed to be enjoying this? If you guys actually see this video, it's gonna be a miracle. Today, um, from the title, as you can tell, I'm gonna be reading Divergent for the very first time. It's probably surprising to a lot of people. Well, not a lot, because I have like 145 subscribers, but <laughs> to people that I haven't read Divergent. I know it's such a popular book and it's up there with like the Hunger Games and like Twilight and like those type of fandoms. Um, and I've read most fandoms. But for some reason, I just haven't read Divergent. I can't remember, I don't know what year this came out in, but I think I was still in the age range where this would have been something that was up my alley. Um, well, it says 2011. I graduated high school in 2011. So maybe I thought I was just like too cool to be like reading this kind of stuff. Um, or in reality, I just like actually had a very full life as a senior in high school. So I probably just didn't have time to read it. And I wasn't probably gonna read this going into college. I had other things to worry about as a freshman in college. But yeah, I'm still interested in reading it. I can't remember, I think I've seen one of the movies i think that the general synopsis of this is like i know that there's like a civilization of people who are broken up into factions i'm i don't know how they're broken up into those like different things factions slices of life i also think i've been ruined for the ending of this book i think someone spoiled it for me but I also just don't know anything that's happening in between and I've heard mixed reviews like I think people loved this book when it came out like most books and then later you realize that there are some problematic uh, things going on. Don't know how to do a vlog so I don't know how to start it so we're just gonna start it okay bye. Please be warned that there will probably be some spoilers for those of you who haven't read Divergent yet. Um, which I feel at this point is like just me left in the world. So if not, proceed with caution. <laughs> Okay, so before I start driving, um, I'm going to Starbucks and I already feel like people are going to judge me for my order, um, but I'm trying to figure out a drink that I can get that's actually decaf. Um, I've had some bad heartburn in the past couple of weeks. I guess it's just one of those symptoms of uh, getting older. I told you when I graduated high school, so you can do the math there. I think I'm gonna try to get my normal Starbucks coffee order, which is just a um, hazelnut iced coffee with almond milk, but see if they have decaf. I've just never actually ordered a decaf drink from Starbucks, so not sure if that's even like a thing. Um, also, <laughs> I, for those of you who don't know, I actually live in New York, but like I said, I'm at my parents' house in Texas, and I haven't driven a car uh, in a little while, so I hope we don't die. So my mom saw me about to leave, and she's like, do you want me to drive you? Because <laughs> she knows I hate driving, and I can't, so. Well, I mean, I can drive, but I don't like it. So she's going to drive me to Starbucks. Yay. Ended up getting a iced chai tea latte, which I know still has caffeine in it, but you know, it's like not as much as getting like a regular coffee. So hopefully I don't have heartburn later, but now that I have some coffee, I need to stop procrastinating on reading. So let's get it started. Okay, so a couple of hours have passed and I'm on page... 
157, which is chapter 13. Um, so obviously I've read where Trish and her brother pick their factions and there she's assuming that her parents are probably mad at her and they're going through this initiation process and we have this gang of characters that's kind of expected like there's like the group of what I like to call mean girls even though it's like a group of guys and girls and then you have four who is this the mysterious brooding type that she's clearly has a crush on and then you have Eric who is this young guy who is clearly corrupt in his leadership typical or or what is to be expected I guess from this um but I am enjoying it like it is grabbing my t my attention and I was able to sit and you know read this much and in one sitting and I am inclined to like just keep reading like it is really interesting especially because I just like have no idea where this is going I mean I have some type of an idea because in most YA like books like this there's some type of corrupt government you know or hierarchy that plays into this which is obvious with Eric yeah like I said I'm enjoying it and I'm gonna take a little break right now I'm not sure what I want to do but I will see you guys again once I read a little bit more hi so it's the next day and I would just like to say, am I the only one that like goes back and looks at the clips they filmed of themselves and I'm like, is this what I look like? <laughs> Especially without makeup. I'm just like not used to seeing myself on camera without makeup. But you know, quarantine is, uh, you know, setting a new standard. So here we are. So last night I read another 100 pages of Divergent and I have some thoughts, I guess like as a quick synopsis of where I'm at now. This is probably going to be out of order, but... Trish's mom comes to visit her and Trish I think essentially figures out that her mom used to be dauntless and her mom is asking her questions about her test and is like kind of acting real shady and is asking her to go see her brother and one of the other factions and ask him to do something and I'm like for what why and then one of the I want to say tributes but this isn't the hunger games one of the people trying to become dauntless is he stabs edward in the eye and then so edward and his little girlfriend leave and then tris also ends up going with the dauntless born initiates that's the word initiates for this another like ritual i guess and she has the time of her life. I know all of that probably coming out of my mouth does not sound that entertaining, but I am enjoying it. And it also has me thinking like Tris was raised in a certain way to like automatically feel, you know, I guess like compassion for people and obviously to be selfless. And, but a lot of that is getting overridden by her current circumstances. And so it kind of makes me think like nurture versus nature thing like does it depend on on just like what your insides tell you like if you were born to kind of have like a caring nature is that going to change based on your surroundings yeah it's just curious um i still don't like eric i have some questions about four like, he clearly wasn't Dauntless born. And it's obvious the way that the book's going that he's probably also divergent. And which is probably why he's attracted to Trish. Bleh, 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 bleh. Unpopular opinion, I really like Al. Like, why did she turn down Al? Like, he clearly has good in him, you know, which I think Trish also has. And sometimes I hate that in books where it's like, you always have to go after the guy that's going to be the risk you know like the bad boy kind of even though four is like kind of a good person it's still just like what's wrong without he's emotional i get it he cries in his bed but like 
isn't that kind of what we all want sometimes it's like a man that's in tune with his emotions right and to me four just reads very like i'm still like less than halfway through so hopefully i'll get a good chunk done today and then finish up tomorrow but who knows i actually woke up before noon today so maybe i'll finish the whole thing but we'll see <laughs> okay so just kidding i don't like owl um i know that was a quick switch up but also owl had a quick switch up just don't even know how to explain it but if you read the book you obviously know and like toxic masculinity it's just like it was like a back and forth i was like oh my god he cries but then it's like he still ain't shit okay and now i feel bad for hating him so i just don't even know how to feel so i have decided to take a little break from reading to try and work out a little bit get my body moving because i've been sitting in my bed all day and, you know and i was thinking about like recording a little bit of my workout but i honestly don't need that type of judgment in my life so i'll see you guys after i die and come back to life because i haven't lifted weights in a while so r.i.p exactly so <laughs> some of these things I'm conflicted in this book but it's like am I supposed to be enjoying this because I feel I don't necessarily feel bad that I am but I just like know that people have a lot of issues with it so I don't know if I'm like going into it like trying to find the issues with it and I don't know if it's like the first book that people have an issue with or the entire series guess we'll find out like i said i'm enjoying it right now i might have different thoughts once it wraps up and i have some time to kind of mull it over what i think but right now i like it I'm liking it a little bit more than i thought i would so so i'm to the point where trish is about to do her last step of the initiation so she's about to go into like the fear chamber or whatever it is the uh the simulations and it bothers me a little bit because everybody keeps telling her that she needs to stop doing so good but as she's watching she's just like oh i know what time i have to be after people have already told her that people are watching her like i get it you want to make sure that become dauntless you should be aiming for a middle time you know just like hang out in there just a little bit longer it's also just weird to me that like she now calls for tobias i understand that that's his name but i don't know it just feels like a reach to me that's something small but i don't know why it bothers me but i guess we'll see what she does in the simulation it's actually 2 p.m but in quarantine time doesn't exist so good morning so i have about 70 pages of divergent left obviously i'm gonna try to finish that today i was talking to one of my best friends on the phone yesterday um and we've been friends since high school and we both like to read and so i was talking to her about divergent because i know that she's read it and just kind of some of my thoughts about it and she doesn't really necessarily remember everything that happened in the book but I was just telling her like how conflicted I am because like I get why Tris wants to do well but also at the same time like are you dumb or are you stupid and then the fact that Eric used to be an erudite and is now um dauntless so even though he's evil like a part of me thinks that later on in the series maybe he becomes like a good guy or we realize that he's like misunderstood 
you know, like most villains. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. I've had some big life updates happen and so I've had to wrap some things up and get some things going. Um, good things, but I'll let you guys know about that um, in one of my later videos. But for now, I want to give my final thoughts on Divergent. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I wasn't really sure what to expect going into this book, but let me go through some of my thoughts of like what I liked about it and what like I didn't like about it. So let's start with Trish, obviously the main character of the book. Sometimes I liked her and then sometimes I didn't. Like I just didn't really care that much about her, which I know sounds horrible, but I think the other characters in the book, like the supporting characters, did a good job of helping her character seem more interesting to me, I guess. She just, she was very prideful, which I mean, cue every single like YA protagonist ever, but it just, it just like grinded my gears a little bit more with her and I don't know why. Sadly to say, I don't have that much to say about Trish, but. So one thing that I'm super sad about is actually Trish's mom dying. So she she doesn't really have that many lines in the book if you think about it but her presence was always very significant and the things that we learned about her in the book were very interesting to me so i'm sad that she died because i feel like she was probably one of the most like robust and interesting characters and i feel like she still had a lot of things to say and her perspective to me was really interesting since she came from dauntless and then she moved to the other faction but she was actually divergent hoping that in some of the future books somehow we get to explore Trisha's mom's life a little bit more somehow not sure how that would come into play but I am hoping for that and then for or Tobias again just kind of like an unremarkable character to me and it's funny because I'm talking a lot of mess about these characters but I still did enjoy the book I know it's still kind of like insta lovey to me which I really don't like but I'm not like super mad at it in this situation because I feel like whenever you're going through like big life changes, it, to me it's easier to fall in love with someone just because you're like more vulnerable to begin with. And you know, you may, and in at least Trista's situation, she was more herself, I guess. Now let's talk about Al. <laughs> I had a mini complex when I was reading this book about Al. I was like, I love Al. And it was like, I hate Al. And then it was like, I feel bad for Al. <laughs> there was like a lot of emotions going on within a short portion of the book with him. Al clearly like had some issues. He was clearly an emotional guy. And being in this situation, training for Dauntless clearly wasn't like conducive to his mental health, which I completely understand. However, his actions were not excusable regardless of what you're going through. There's plenty of people who go through those things but don't commit those acts. And it just really surprised me that he did what he did because he was so selfless at the beginning. Like he didn't want to hurt people. He'd rather like be in last place and hurt people. And yet when then Trish hurt his feelings because she didn't like him, then he wants to essentially like help scare her. And so I was like, ow, what are you doing? And then the last character I want to talk about is Eric because I also mentioned this previously. I feel like there's gonna be something more to him. I feel like he can switch it on and off too well. Is he bad now, but then he's gonna like become good somehow later? I just get that vibe, but I'm probably gonna be super wrong and he's probably just gonna be evil all the way down. I'm hoping that that's not the case because we all love a good redemption arc, you know? And really he's like the only person at this point that could have a redemption arc. Oh, other than um, Peter, is that his name? I guess Peter could also have a redemption arc, but like, you stab somebody in the eye, so I don't, I don't want that. Aside from the characters, I would say I did love kind of like the overall um, premise of the book. If you watch my previous video, which I'll link down below about things that I love in books, one of those things is like competition and like some type of training of some sort, which obviously this book falls right into because even though she makes it into Dauntless, she did also train and they're still competing all against each other for a spot to be actually 
be a part of the faction dauntless and then i mentioned this previously but i think it's just really interesting to think about the whole like nature versus versus nurture conversation and i think that's this book kind of explored that which i really enjoyed do i still have the answer no but i think <laughs> that's like a good part of the of the book is that there's like no definitive answer there but i liked the idea of just kind of exploring that part overall like i said i enjoyed the book i would give it a four out of five stars and i'm excited to read the next one i'm not sure when that's going to be but yeah if you made it this far through this vlog bless your soul thank you so much this is my first vlog might be my last who knows uh, but I really appreciate you guys and I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.